Hey mga kawamat, in this video we will discuss solving problems involving oblique triangles. But before we proceed to our discussion, please don't forget to like our video and subscribe na rin kayo sa ating Walmart channel. So in solving problems involving oblique triangles, pag sinabi nga po nating oblique, there is no right angle. So the law of sines and the law of cosines are being used. So ano nga po ulit yung mga uh, formulas or um, formula na pwede natin gamitin. So for the law of sines and the law of cosines. So for the law of sines, we have sin A over A is equal to sin B over B is equal to sin C over C. Or we may also use its reciprocal. Okay, so again, the representations of our sides are the small letters A, B, and C. And for the angles, those are the capital letters. Now, in solving for the sides and angles, ito po ang pwede natin gamitin, itong six forms po. Kailan po natin pwedeng gamitin ang law of signs kapag ang triangle po natin ay merong dalawang angles and an included side or non-included side. So, ito po yung ASA or AAS. Ginagamit rin po natin ang law of signs kapag ang given po nating triangle or oblique triangle ay meron po siyang dalawang sides and an angle opposite of any of these sides. Ito naman yung SSA. A. So, dito, lalabas yung ating mga ambiguous cases. So, let's see. Diyan natin malalaman sa ambiguous cases kung meron tayong triangle na nag exist kung meron tayong two distinct triangles, or there is no solution or walang triangle. Now, for the law of cosines, we are using uh, this law in any triangle. So, for finding the sides or the measures of its sides, Ito po yung ating mga ginagamit. So, if we are looking for side A, then ito po siya. For, for side B, ito po, and for side C. Now, when we are solving for the angles, ito naman po ang ginagamit natin. Cosine A, cosine B, and cosine C. So, this is for angle A, angle B, and angle C. Kailan po natin ginagamit ang law of cosines? If, our oblique triangle has two sides and the included angle. So, ito naman po yung SAS. Meron tayong two sides and included angle. Also, ginagamit rin po ito kapag ang oblique triangles natin ay meron pong three sides. So, ano pong klase yun? Yun naman po yung ating SSS. So, take note of the following. So, ito po ay ginagamit lang po natin. Depende po sa kung anong kind of oblique triangles ang meron tayo. If it's ASA, AAS, or SSA, we are using law of signs. For SAS and SSS, we are using law of cosines. Let's have an example. Three sisters... Anna, Bea, and Chelsea go to a park to answer their math exercises in their module. Each one chose a part of the park where to stay as shown in the illustration below. What is the measure of angle A, angle B, and angle C? As you can see in the given fig figure illustration, ito po nasa Rizal Monument si Chelsea. Uh, on the other location, we have here Anna sa Chinese Garden and nandito naman si Bea sa National Museum of National History, Natural History. So, ito pong ating illustration. As you can see, meron tayong or given po yung ating three sides. 11 meters, 8 meters, 15 meters. Ito po yung distance nila sa isa't isa. Now, as you can see, we can classify this oblique triangle as SS since given po yung measures ng three sides natin. So, kung SSS po ang ating oblique triangle, therefore, we will be using the law of cosine. Okay? So, in solving for an oblique triangle using the law of cosine, first step po natin since kapag given po yung three sides, uunahin po natin isolve paano po yun based dun sa ating previous video na kapag three sides ang given natin, uunahin po natin isolve yung angle na opposite 
po ng longest side natin. So, given po si 11, si 8, at si 15, since ito po yung longest side natin, uunahin po natin si angle C, since ito po yung longest side. So, for us to solve for C, cosine C is equal to A squared plus B squared minus C squared all over 2 times A times B. So, substitute lang po natin lahat ng values natin. So, we have your A is, so A, lagi po yan opposite ni angle A, that is 8 squared, plus your B is 11 squared, minus C is 15 squared, all over 2 times 8, which is your A, and then B, which is 11. So, ang gagawin po natin, isa-solve po natin using calculator. So, we have, first is yung fraction, so we have 8 squared, Okay, plus 11 squared. Dun sa previous tutorial natin, pinakita ko po yung detail kung paano gumamit using calculator na kapag meron po tayo nito, you can make use of the parentheses. Pwede po natin gamitin yun. So, meron po tayong click po natin ito and then parentheses and then enclose natin and then squared. Okay, so kailangan po kasi masanay tayo na uh, minsan, merong mga calculators na hindi uh, walang fraction bar. I, I mean, ito yung fraction icon. So, they really need to put parentheses bago po sila makapag-solve. So, dun sa previous video natin, I'm showing you the detailed uh, process of solving this problem using calculator. Now, this time, so, ituturo ko sa inyo yung mas mabilis. Okay? So, 8 squared plus 11 squared minus 15 squared. So, ito na lang po pipindutin natin. Arrow down. And then, that is 2. 2 times 8 times 11. Okay. So, ito po ang ating sagot. So, kapag ganito na nag-fraction, ito lang po pipindutin natin. So, as you can see, ang atin pong answer ay negative 0 0.2273. Now, ito pa lang po yung value niya. E since hinahanap natin ay yung angle, so we need to get or find the angle of C. The measure of the angle C. So, paano po natin gagawin? Click shift. And then, ano po yung ating uh, ratio, cosine. And then, yung answer natin na nakuha and close, equals. So, we have 103.14 degrees. So, therefore, the measure of angle C is 103.14 degrees. So, nakuha na po natin yung ating first angle, which is the angle C. Now, ano po yung second step natin? ba kapag three sides yung given sa law of cosines, ang first step, kukunin yung angle na opposite ng longest side. So, ito na po yun. Next step is, kukunin natin yung measure ng uh, any dito sa dalawang angles. It's up to you kung anong gusto mong unahin, kung ito ba o ito. Applying the law of sine or cosine. Kahit ano po, pwede natin gamitin. So, dito, pwede nyo pong gamitin when you are finding the ang measures of angle A and angle B, you can make use of law of sine or cosine. Okay? So, ang gagamitin ko ay A muna. A muna ang isosolve ko at ang gagamitin ko ay law of cosine. So, again, pwede mo rin pong gamitin yung law of sine. Kasi since meron na tayong kompletong given dito, so you can make use of the law of sine. Now, so I'll, I'll be using the cosine, cosine law. So we have b squared plus c squared minus a squared all over 2bc. Substitute natin lahat ng values. Your b is 11, so squared, plus c. Your c is, your c is 15, and then squared, minus a, which is 8, so squared then. All over 11, this is your b. And then your C is 15. Okay, solve natin. Ganun ulit. 11. Tick muna natin yung fraction. So, 11 squared plus 15 squared minus 8 squared. Arrow down. And then we have 2 times 11 times 15. And then close. Equals. So, we have 0 
Okay, so 0 0.8545 since we are looking for the angle. So, para makuha natin yung angle, click shift. Since cosine ang ginamit natin, click cosine. Your answer and close equals. And that is angle A is equal to 31.29 degrees. So, ito po yung measure ng ating angle A which is 31.29 degrees. Next, makukuha na ba natin itong angle B? Yes. Paano natin siya makukuha? Ima-minus na lang po natin siya by 180. So, yung sampo nitong dalawang angles mo, ima-minus na lang natin from 180. So, to solve for B, 180 minus the sum of angle A and angle C. And that is 31.29 plus 103.14, yung nakuha natin kanina. We will get 45.57 degrees. And that is the measure of angle B. Next. In the same depth of the water, two scuba divers who are 20 meters apart spot a shark that is at the deeper part of the sea. The angles of depression of the shark from diver 1 and diver 2 are 470 and 400 respectively. So, si diver 1, 470, and si diver 2 is 400. So, how far is each diver from the shark? So, ang kukunin natin ngayon is... Yung distance po nito, yung first diver sa shark and this, ito pong isang diver natin sa shark. So, ibig sabihin, ito po ang kukunin natin dyan. So, let us represent the two sides as X and Y. Now, itong 20 meters, since uh, yung dalawang divers natin ay 20 meters apart, ayan po. Now, ang tingnan natin yung ating given na oblique triangle. Since yung given po natin ay meron siyang angle, may side, included side, and angle. So, ano po ang gagamitin natin kapag meron po tayong dalawang angles at isang side? Ang gagamitin po natin ay law of sine. Kasi po, meron tayong dalawang angles and included side. So, ASA po ito. Now, kapag law of sine po ang gagamitin natin, Ang una po nating hahanapin dito ay yung third angle. Since given na yung two angles po natin dito, makukuha na po natin yung third angle. So, para makuha natin yung third angle, ima-minus lang po natin yung sum ng dalawang angles from 180. So, 180 minus the sum of 47 plus 40, that is 87. So, we have 93 degrees. Nakuha na po natin agad ito. But since... We are asked to solve of how far is the distance of the two divers from the shark. So, ang kukunin natin ay x at y. So, ano pong gagamitin natin dito? Again, you can make use of law of sine. Kasi po, ASA po ito. So, since ASA case yan, ang gagamitin natin ay yung ating uh, three parts. So, since meron na tayong given dito na a kompleto. So, ito pong angle na to, given na, and yung opposite side niya na 20 meters, ba yun naman ang importante na dapat meron tayong given na. Okay? So, since uh, dalawa ang unknown natin, punin muna natin yung una. X muna. So, we have to solve for X. So, X over sine 40 degrees is equal to 20 over sine 93 degrees. Okay? So, substitute natin yung ating values. Ah, ito na pala. Okay, so ang gagawin natin, cross multiply. So, we have x is equal to sine 40 degrees times 20 over sine 93 degrees. So, let us solve. So, we have sine, click sine, 40 degrees times 20. Arrow down. Sign 93. And then click equals. So we have x is equal to 12.87 meters. Therefore, ang measure po o yung distance po ng diver 1, yung diver 1 dito po sa shark is 12.87 meters. Now let us solve for 
y. Para makuha naman natin si y, you can make use of x na. Okay? Pwede mo nang gamitin ito. Or pwede naman ang is na ito pa rin. Okay? But since na-solve naman na natin to, you can also make use of this. Hindi po palaging ito. So, to solve for y, that is y over sine 47 degrees is equal to 20 over sine 93 degrees. So, cross multiply, we have y is equal to the product of sine 47 and 20 all over sine 93 degrees. So, let us solve. We have sine 47 times 20 arrow down sine 93 equals so that is 14.65 meters therefore the distance of the di the diver to from the shark is 14.65 meters next John and Jay both start at a point A. So, ito po yung point A. Pareho po silang nag-start dito. Each walk in a straight line and their paths form an angle of 105 degrees. Nung naghiwalay sila, ito yung starting point, naghiwalay sila, naka-form sila ng angle na 105 degrees. After 45 minutes, John walk 4.5 kilometers. Ito si John. So, from there, from here, Nag, nung after five min, 45 minutes, ang nalakad ni John ay 4.5 kilometers. While si Jay naman, ang nalakad niya is 6 kilometers. So, ang hahanapin natin is how far apart are they from each other. So, nung naghiwalay sila, nakaform sila ng angle na 105 degrees. Ang distance niya dun sa starting point ni John ay 4.5 while si Jay naman ay 6 kilometers. Now, ang hahanapin natin is how far gano sila kalayo sa isa't isa. So, tingnan natin ang ating given. Meron tayong side, angle side. So, since meron tayong side, angle side, therefore, we will be applying here the law of cosine since ang case natin ay SAS. Now, kapag SAS po, ano pong unang gagawin? First step is you have to find the measure, ito po, yung length, nung opposite side ng given angle. Since ito yung given angle natin, kukunin natin yung opposite side niya. Which is the distance of the two. Yun yung layo nung, isa, nung dalawa. So, ito po para mahanap natin si A, we will be applying the law of cosine. But since side ang hahanapin natin, so ang gagamitin natin ay yung A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2 times BC times cosine A. Since side po ah, kapag angle kasi, yun yung cosine A. Okay? So, uh, substitute natin lahat ng values natin. So, we have... A squared is equal to B squared. Your B squared is 4.5 uh, squared. So, 4.5. Your C is 6. Paano ko nalaman na ito yung C? Kasi lagi po siyang opposite nung angle. And then, minus 2. Your B is 4.5. And then, 6. And then, cosine. Your A is 105. And so, A is equal to square root of... So, ayan muna pala. So, uh, we have to press first your square root and then 4.5 squared squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times 4.5 times 6 and then, click cosine 105 degrees. So, and then click enter. Okay, so we have 8.38 kilometers. So, therefore, the distance of John and Jay from each other is 8.38 kilometers. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.